Back in the early noughties, S Club 7 star Rachel Stevens and actor Jeremy Edwards were the celeb couple of the day. The red-hot romance between Rachel and the Holby City actor moved at lightning speed, with Jeremy popping the question after just 18 months on Valentine's Day 2002. Getting down on one knee during dinner at London's Swish Hotel, the Dorchester, Rachel, who'd fancied Jeremy since she first clapped eyes on him as Kurt Benson in Hollyoaks, immediately said yes. I really didn't have a clue he was going to do it and am thrilled to pieces, the then 23-year-old gushed. We are both so happy. But within a year, the cracks were beginning to show. Rachel's demanding job with S Club meant taking time off for a wedding was out of the question. And Jeremy, then playing healthcare assistant Danny Shaughnessy in BBC One's Holdy, shared his frustrations, telling Heat magazine, it's impossible. He continued, we've only just found out that she's got three weeks off now. We've got to try and book a holiday today but that means me begging and pleading for time off from Holby. How can we possibly organize a wedding? But a tragedy that would derail Jeremy entirely struck on June 15 when his Holby co-star, Laura Sadler, plunged 40 feet to her death from a balcony while watching the sun rise at her boyfriend's home in Holland Park, London. The 22-year-old sustained massive head injuries and died in hospital five days later, leaving Jeremy, then 31, bereft. Everybody in the cast is completely devastated and is asking the same question, why her? He told the BBC. You couldn't meet a sweeter, nicer, more wonderful girl. She was the kindest person and even actor friends of mine who did just one episode with her are mortified. She was just the loveliest little thing. Crippled with grief, he began drinking too much and just months later, Rachel ended their relationship. It was a tough time for me. After Laura's death I got really messed up. I was drinking a hell of a lot and got seriously depressed, he told Heat. It really shook me up. Losing such a close friend pushed me off the rails and sadly Rachel got caught up in my mess. It was at this point she confronted me about my problems and we agreed to have a break. The pair didn't speak for an entire month until Jeremy realized what my behavior was making me lose, and they reunited. Rachel means the world to me and I couldn't believe what was happening to our relationship. I needed a serious reality check and that's what I got, he added. However, they shelved their plans for marriage with Jeremy stating he needed to grow up a bit before making a commitment. He also disapproved of the sexy image overhaul she underwent to launch her solo career, explaining he wanted Rachel to be known for her talent, not her looks. I just don't think it's necessary, he told Now Magazine. It seems that the easiest way for a young girl to sell records is to get her kid off and get herself in the tabloids, but I think Teresa danger of being known for that instead of your talent. Rachel's a really good singer and I worry that her image will overshadow that. But the suits seem to think that they know what they're doing, so we just have to go along with it. Then in January 2004, the pair confirmed they had parted ways for good, explaining that although the decision was sad, it was the right one. Rachel went on to marry childhood friend Alex born in a lavish ceremony at Claridge's Hotel in London's Mayfair in 2009. The pair first met as children and dated briefly as teenagers before reuniting in their late 20s.
speaking about their romance, Rachel told Roxy Nafaus as the moments that made me podcast, we were childhood sweethearts. We went out with each other when we were 12, we met at youth club and I was besotted with him. We went out for probably about 4 weeks and when you're that age that was a really long time. They tied the knot in London's Claridge's Hotel back in 2009, walking down the S Club 7 song, never had a dream come true. But last year they parted ways but vowed to remain united as parents for daughters Amelie, 12, and Minnie, 8. Sharing the news, the singer told her Instagram followers, I just wanted to share with you all that after time and consideration the difficult decision has been made for Alex and I to separate. While we are no longer partners in marriage, we will remain partners in parenthood to our beautiful girls and continue with love and respect for each other. I feel so incredibly grateful for the life we built together and will now continue to be focused on moving forward united as a family. Will you go to see the S Club 7 reunion shows? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.